Hello and welcome back to Endless Legend Tempest. Uh, we are the Mogwar, hideous looking creatures, but are sometimes very beautiful. On the inside anyway, and we are on a quest to conquer the seas, the land, and your heart. Anyway, I think we are exploring this place, but we ran out of movement, so... I think there's anything else we can do. Uh, let's double check our stuff here real quick. That's right, we need to figure out what to build next. And I'm pretty sure what we need to build next is a settler. I kinda want, you know, I, I do want to get an additional population before I start building the settler. Um, so I might actually... queue a mastermind first. That way we get... well, I don't know if I like that. Actually... Uh, anyway, we're okay. I don't want to queue the mastermind. I think what's going to happen is next turn my mill foundry research will be done. Which will allow me to build the mill foundry and then I'll switch to mill foundry such that I don't waste any production on a mastermind because I don't need it. End of turn. The goal right now is to make a second settler as soon as we possibly can. Because we really need to get our act together and colonize this area, since... Well, maybe there's something here, but I, I'm not... I'm not very optimistic. Let's put it that way. Okay. We need to continue to explore here. This seems to be a very good region for a city, though. We've got some dye deposits, which is not great for building, but... We have this, we have this, we have this. And that is a huge amount of food. But that city will grow very quickly and we have a wither stone nearby for science. We're not going to be able to get there in a while, but... This is also close to the coast, so I really want to be able to colonize that particular area. I don't know if we can though. Okay, so... We will move Mill Foundry up, get rid of Mastermind. How much money do we need? 178. Mm. Not nearly close to being enough. But that will finish next turn. And I'm hoping to gain a population in two turns, which will allow me to skip by the mill foundry and go to the settler directly. How's that plan? One more turn, and then it's settling time. Meanwhile, we'll get on the water. Okay, so it looks like we found somebody else here. I do prefer to end my turn on land. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter at this point. Stirs of Mercy. Sisters of Mercy have an infantry unit that can heal. Which I don't know is really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a unit that does a lot of damage possible. And it's destroyed, which... well, that makes sense, because these guys, most likely this is their home territory. I don't know who they are at this point. I can't tell because I can't see any units. Oh, hi. And again, we have the upgrade tree here, and I want to see what I want to get here. We can increase the chance of getting loot. We can increase the combat progress of the hero on the oceans, or we can just straight increase defense. Let's see what's going on. Plus attack, plus initiative, plus life. So this tree here is all about giving buffs, passive bonuses to anybody in the army that's led by the hero. And I think, as expected, these are all bonuses for the for getting on the sea. And this is common, so I'm gonna go with this. 
I'm kind of interested to see what that power is going to give me. My do my plan is, of course, in this playthrough to heavily invest in the ocean, and as expected, this is not connected. And I want my first hero to be able to do some of that. Alright, come on, one more turn. 161. Maybe at some point during the building of the settler, I would have enough to buy the mill foundry. We'll see if that's going to happen or not. Yes. Alright. So now I will switch my production over to the settler. Takes 11 turns, but I will switch all of my population to production, which means that the heal will get done in 6 turns. The other alternative is I can try to build the mill foundry first, and then build the settler second, but I feel like that's going to be too late, uh, because this territory is next to one of the other guys, and they're, well, actually next to two other guys, so both of them are probably going to want to colonize it. So I do want to make sure I get my chance here. Meantime, you know, we'll continue to explore this nice little area. Ooh. The Eyeless One also has a unit um, that gives you healing. They're also not great. The interesting thing is that they do have an ability, if you assimilate them, to give you a lot of extra happiness. About 10 or 15, depends on how many tribes you get, and that can be nice. It's usually sometimes what you get from using a luxury resource, which I will talk about a little bit later. Uh, but very helpful for expansion. Right now, we need units. That's our first primary concern. Otherwise, we'll be to little pulps. else to do here, check my research, everything's still set up. Alright. How expensive is the mill foundry? 126. So in two turns I will be able to buy the mill foundry, which may be able to speed my settler production up by one more turn. We'll see if that can happen or not. Hopefully we can find something one of these ruins. Maybe some gold. Ooh, there's something here too. Give me gold. Excellent. Alright. That's the case. We're going to buy the mill foundry immediately. And hopefully that will save us one turn on the settler. I don't know, but we're going to uh, make that assumption. Oh, you guys are out of moves already. Not fortunate. Okay, this is also... Well, I don't know if it's... A, I was going to say it's a decent territory, but I haven't explored the inside. There's that, which is a pretty decent. Uh, one of the bonus or perks, if you will, of playing this particular class or I guess faction is that you don't actually need a lot of abnormalities or bonus resources because every single C tile is a pretty good one for you. So you're less dependent on the randomness generated by Orger herself. Yeah, so saved me two turns. Okay. After the settler, uh, I would like to buy seed storage or build seed storage, but I can't do it yet. So we need, we're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer. I will ignore that for now. Oh, hi. We fare fairly well. Thank you, uh, sharp-headed person. But these are elves. They are very defensive. They build things very fast. They, I think the AI likes to expand, and they have a lot of defensive bonuses. Why can't I disembark there? What does it matter?
built two extractors exploring one of the following. Dye, emerald, gold, spice, or wine. I don't think I... So there are some dye here. And I don't think I have any other real resources to speak of. No, I have one. So if I are, I'm able to harvest both of these, then I will complete that quest and get the augmented, augmented extractor, which is actually pretty good because it gives you extra resources. Something to look forward to, I guess. So he is just going around killing everything. So if he is killing stuff in this territory, Mostly like means, most likely means, most me most likely suggests that he wants to colonize this area next. This is actually a pretty good area. We've got two big wonders next to each other, the Earth Spine and that, which gives a lot of science. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's okay. I can do better, I guess. I mean, I can't do better, but he can probably do better. And I think now it's a good time for me to visit that ruin there, and then we'll start exploring this area. I'm also hoping there will be some land over here so that we don't have to necessarily compete with these guys. We can go across the ocean and settle there. It's going to take me the same amount of time to get from here to here versus getting from here to maybe over here because I move so much faster on the water. Did I end turn? Life tree. Hmm. Be also a nice place to settle, but what never gonna happen anyway. Okay. So now our settler will be done in one turn, and then I can queue a sea storage after them, which is pretty good. And in fact, I think I might want to actually just finish the sea storage after the settler gets done. Since we're researching language square anyway, okay? Nothing else. Our little piece of land, but that's okay. We got nothing, and that's also okay. There's something here. Now, can I make it back here in time to settle? Two, three, okay. If I get movement, I get one, two, three, and then that's probably the fastest way to get through here. It's a race! Okay, seed storage done in two turns. I don't, uh, I was gonna say, I don't actually need it to have it done in two turns, but might as well, because we can build the, f the dust filtration next. I don't have anything else to build. The only other thing I can think of is building a mastermind, which doesn't actually do us any good at this point. I can also build a burrow. Building a burrow means that you can expand one of your tiles. Which actually might also be a good idea. Let's see here. But it reduces your happiness in your city. And also reduces the food input on the tile which you built the burrow on. So dust filtration gives me plus three. So I get six extra gold from building a dust filtration system. Only in the summer though. But if I build a burrow, I can get quite a bit more than that actually. So that might be what I want to go for. Kill that. Is there a particular direction I want to be expanding toward? I do want more sea tiles because they help. But if you go here for example, then you can't ex expand any other direction. You're just This is dead end. So that might not be what we want. We may actually want to go in this direction. But to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter so much. Okay, let's do this. I want to expand over here so I can put my dock over here if needed be. And then I want to expand over here so that I can put another dock over here such that it's easier for my units to go that direction. So we'll put a burrow in that nice little area there. We will fast warm our production until the sea storage gets done because that gives us a huge amount of food. So right now I need to grow my population in the city. Settler is done. I'm gonna form a new army. Let's 
see. What's the easiest way? Uh, they're about equal, actually. Let's see. This might be better. I'm just worried that I will run into a barbarian, which means that my settler will be dead. Uh, it's actually not that big of a deal. Okay, we're gonna march ourselves back over yonder to see what's going on. Has anybody settled this place yet? Wait for me. I'll be here in two turns. Maybe three turns. Probably three turns. Yeah, it's not really a, a much faster way for me to go. I think one turn gets me here. Then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Maybe, th maybe two turns. Imminent Empire Plan. So Empire Plan is the nice thing where you can use and spend your influence that you get. Right now we have almost nothing to speak of, and I don't don't actually think we will be able to get enough for an em Empire Plan. So. If you get an Empire Plant, it's essentially a civilization-wide buff for you, your units. Yeah, it's not, this is not great. We can't make it. Oh well, whatever. We just have to stand here and hope nobody else takes our place. Okay, where do I want to settle, actually? Let's see. This is a good place. Probably this plot over here. Because that gives me immediate access to all three of these plots. I don't get a whole lot of ocean tiles, only one. Uh, but that might not matter too much, initially at least. The other place would be directly on this. But I don't get any sea tiles. It gives me easier access to the Wither Stone, but I think we're okay for now. We just need to make this happen. Explore this way a little bit, since we're here anyway. This is actually quite nice. This place has three little cities. So if I get a bonus from pacifying these guys, it will be very large. That's what I want. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, the game crashed, so... If there's one thing I can say about this game so far is that it kind of crashes fairly often. Well, I guess not that often. Enough time that I notice on my computer. Um, usually it happens during recording, so I think there might be something to that. Uh, and once it crashes, it tends to run a little bit slower until I restart the computer. So, there you go. Anyway, good day fellow sufferer. We have a lot in common, my new friend. Slash enemy. You know, we both like agony, so... It's nice. The Ardent Mages are... Basically... Your standard... Human-like race... That I think tends to be... A little more aggressive. But we'll ignore them for now. Because I have priorities, and my priority is to get... to the promised land. Let's see, I have five movement points. I need to land here. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I think that should be enough. Hopefully my unit don't die from the storm. I think this is okay unless I end my... Well, never mind. Just extra money. So. Because there are separate units right now, they cost me more gold, so I want to get rid of them as soon as I can. Oh, hi. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Uh, I was like, hey, you are just a single unit and slightly injured. Maybe I can do something for you. And then I looked at the Warlock he has 56 attack and 73 damage. And my mastermind has 22 attack and 30 damage. Not exactly a contest. I think he'll slaughter me. So we'll let him go for now. Uh, if he lets me go, that is. 
We're gonna have to, uh, to retreat. I don't feel very safe here. You know, we'll start our journey in that direction. Okay. This is building a Burl Street. And if you're building the Burl Street, I think I actually want to switch everybody back into food production. I wonder if I will be able to settle this place as well. I kind of want to settle both of these territories. But I might make both of these guys mad, which may not be the best thing. But there is another neutral territory here. So they can go grab that one, you know, if they are so do inclined. Not my business. Okay, we'll play maybe one extra turn, then we'll end this episode. I just want to see the new city come up. That's all I want. Can I make it? I can't. Alright, let's go for it. New city, here we come. 23... Food. Really horrible amount of production though. I'm trying to see if there's a, anything else I can do here. 23 food, 14 science. I think that actually is a, a pretty good way to go. Let's go and build it. This is my land now. Get out of here. As expected, mill foundry first. Uh, we would also need to start pacifying some of these villages. So I might actually pull my units back here, which I actually would want to do it now. Because next turn, I finish the language square, which allows me to negotiate with them. And that would be good. So we'll just sit in here and wait. I do need to beef up my people here if I want to have any chance against these guys because my units are not very good. I don't know if I said this already, but uh, they aren't. Let's see. Six. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and end this episode here. We'll continue next time and uh, further expand our reach of the deep. Thanks for watching.